Well, I found this very interesting. The uh, liberal Catholic Democrat Joe Biden says he'll push new abortion rights law if Supreme Court overrules Roe v. Wade. You know, this is the satanic agenda of the Jesuit-controlled Democrat Party. Let me just do full screen and also zoom in so I can read this better. Democratic presidential nominee Joseph R. Biden said Monday he would work to pass legislation codifying the right, the right, quote-unquote right, to obtain an abortion if the Supreme Court takes action to undermine Roe v. Wade, the 1973 high court ruling that recognized abortion, quote-unquote, rights. You know, killing your baby is not a right. Not, not in the least sense. At, my, at a Miami, Florida uh, town hall, Held by NBC, a female participant asked Mr. Biden how he would respond if the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade because she was fearful of President Trump appointing Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the High Court. By the way, she's Jesuit and Catholic trained. You know, you think the Catholic Church is going to stop abortion? Considering how the Supreme Court nomination of Amy Coney Barrett, what are your plans to protect women's reproductive rights and quote unquote rights in the US, the female questioner asked. See how Biden responds. Number one, we don't know exactly what she will do, although the expectation is that she may very well move to over overview and overrule Roe. Mr. Biden answered, I'm not good at reading on the computer. The only respo uh, responsible response would be to pass legislation making Roe the law of the land. And that's what I would do. So he's basically saying he's going to affirm the right to kill babies. Mr. Biden has been reluctant to criticize Judge Barrett by name on the campaign trail. At the first presidential debate opposite President Trump last month, Mr. Biden said he was not opposed to Judge Barrett and personally added she seems like a very fine person. And then, you know, it goes down there. Uh, Senate Judiciary Committee hearings on Judge Barrett's nomination are scheduled to begin next Monday, October 12th at 9 o'clock a.m. And, you know, that's the end of the article. But it just shows that the Democrat Party, you know, is the party of baby killing, basically. And, you know, the Republican Party, that they claim, the Republican Party claims to be the pro-life party. But there's problems with the Republican Party, too. When they control the House and the Senate, they did nothing to stop abortion. But um, the thing is, that abortion will remain the law of the land until Jesus Christ comes back and sets up his millennial kingdom, and we live under Christ's laws. That's the only time that abortion will be fully banned. But um, let me just show you some scripture on this. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 7. Their feet run to evil. They make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. You know, a very good description description of these pro-abortionists. They make haste to shed innocent blood. So, you know, the abortion is one of the many reasons why God's wrath is on America and why I would never say God bless America because, you know, it's a wicked nation. They kill their own babies just like the pagans do. So, you know, just win souls, preach the gospel, and just let Jesus Christ take care of it. But, you know, abortion will never be banned until Jesus Christ comes back and sets up his law. But it just shows the satanic pro um, pro murder agenda of the Democrat Party. Not to mention the fact that um, the babies are capable of having just sometimes some, some scientific facts. The babies are capable of having a different blood type and a different cell type than the mother, but somehow they're not a separate human being, even though they can have a different blood and cell type. You know, kind of a problem there. You have to just conveniently put that out of the way, but. Yep, the abortion agenda of the Jesuit-controlled Democrat Party. So, it's, it's, you know, it's murder. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.